Okay, so Lucas, what are we talking about today? The very unfortunate story of Harambe. Never forget. So today we are discussing Harambe, specifically the Wikipedia page on, and I quote, the killing of Harambe. And maybe the death of a beloved gorilla um, is not fodder for comedy, but you know what, fuck it. I'm gonna find gold in this copper mine, let's go. Right, so on May 28th, 2016, a three-year-old boy climbed to a gorilla enclosure in the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Gardens and was grabbed and dragged by Harambe, a 17-year-old Western lowland gorilla. Fearing for the boy's life, a zoo worker shot and killed Harambe. The incident was recorded on video and received broad international coverage and commentary, including controversies. And that's all life because we know what Harambe was. He was protecting that boy. He was. And we need to discuss that because my favourite thing about the whole like, like ordeal of Harambe is like the rewriting of history by the internet on yeah. that Harambe was a hero protecting the <laughs> child. <laughs> like, he was trying to protect the child from a sniper yep. and the sniper got him <laughs> instead. <laughs> So the child was marked for death and Harambe knew it and threw himself in yep. front of the boy. They just and... absolute sacrifice, the hero that is Harambe. <laughs> Harambe was born at the Gladys Porter Zoo in Brownsville, Texas. Texas native. Uh, on May 27, 1999. So he was named by a local area councillor who won a naming contest sponsored by the zoo. He came up with the name after listening to the song Harambe, Working Together for Freedom by Rita Marley, the widow of Bob Marley. Harambe is a Swahili term for communal labour. Oh, there we go then. So, in 2014, Harambe was transferred to the Cincinnati Zoo to learn adult gorilla behaviour and join a new social group and also become a fucking legendary hero. So, I don't think we need to talk about the incident itself because it's very, very sad. I was going to say that's like quite a sombre thing to be talking about. Yeah, so what we're going to go straight to is the section that simply says internet memes because it's about 500 words long <laughs> and we took the briefest of glimpses at it and immediately burst out laughing so without further ado lucas following the killing harambe became the subject of multiple viral memes that continue to this day did you know that no like well to this day like cincinnati zoo has like a twitter page oh okay and, and obviously on the twitter oh we've got some new meerkats in today without fail every time that goes out <laughs> someone will tweet Back to them, Harambe love meerkats. <laughs> every time, I'm not kidding. Like you put up an example behind me, every single time that that Twitter profile tweets something out, they go, Harambe would have loved this. Oh, every no. time. And I think they actually had to like delete the Twitter account and make a new one, and then people found it and kept oh, it. Oh God. The thing is as well, I know that Harambe just lives through your headshot. He's also like, oh yeah, people, like, I love this thing. Cause it's, it's just the, the photo of him. He, he just looks so noble. Like, gorillas themselves look like noble looking creatures. They have such mm -hmm. like, you know, they're like eagles in that way, where they have like a really noble profile. That's yeah, just like, like a very stoic look. It is just inherently relatable. Mm -hmm. And it reminds me a bit of, you ever heard of Shabney? He's a no? Japanese gorilla that is beloved by the local women in like around the area the zoo is based in because he's just so attractive. Okay. And he's known as the world's most handsome gorilla. And he actually, that's what signs up, asking women to stop coming in and yelling at him because he was really scared. Because oh, so many women were coming up and yelling to him. Because you, like, you can put the photo behind me, like, he looks like a fucking supermodel gorilla. Like, <laughs> he's, like, he's even got like the blue steel pose going all in his photos. Like, yeah, look at him go, that is a really handsome fucking gorilla. Yep. And the, gorilla, like, the reason I like gorillas so much as well is because um, I have something. Um, like they call it the Smallwood hairline, but like in the family it's known as like the gorilla hairline. Oh, Because okay. my dad looks like a gorilla. <laughs> in the sense that his hairline, and my hairline, is a gorilla's hairline, if you can see it. Mm, but yeah, it goes yeah. down just a little bit. So like, we always say my dad looks like a fucking gorilla, because he's got like the silver streaks going through his hair. <laughs> yeah. So he got like, the fucking silver back. And now I've got that fucking hair. If anyone's wondering why does Carl have long hair, without it, I look like a Lego man. Oh, okay. oh, my big square head. Anyway, <laughs> so Vox wrote in November that Harambe has an undeniable status as 2016's meme of the year. As People magazine wrote, Harambe continues to live on in the collective mind of the internet, entering into a rarefied state of venerated meme status. It's true. And that's the thing, yeah, there's a, there's a few memes that have never actually gotten old, or like they've never got to the point where you're, like, you're sick of seeing them. Yeah, yeah, true. Like rage comics, remember how big they were, and now you see them go, fuck off. Yeah. But you still, you see a Harambe meme and you go, But you yeah. see like a Spongebob meme and you're like, that's yeah, still you, pretty strong. Or a Doge. You see yeah. a Doge and you're like, yeah, that still works, that still works. So yeah, I like that. One of the most widespread memes was noted by the Washington Post, 
who observed a proliferation of over-the-top and fake tributes to her rampage. Oh, God. The idea is the more intense and more sincere seeming the expression of mourning is, the funnier the joke. It's not a joke. We're actually really sad like, that I he died. I was so sad that he died. I still like that year, though, during, like, you know, the Times Square, like, um, firework display. Mm. Like, everyone's like, oh, what a beautiful tribute to Harambe. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice of the world to celebrate Harambe's oh, memory God. with these wonderful fireworks. Harambe love fireworks. Oh. For example, the dicks out for Harambe meme can be seen as a fake tribute to an incident that would normally engender sincere mourning. No, fuck off, dicks out for her. I don't like that they're talking about this as if it wasn't real. Yeah. Like, I know for a fact, because Adam, didn't Adam go to an actual wake for Harambe? Did he actually? Yeah, they all had cans in a park and just drank them for Harambe. Like, it was genuinely sincere. It's like, maybe it started off as a joke, but I think because it became something the internet could latch onto yeah. collectively. And I saw this really great breakdown of why is Harambe a meme that's persisted so long? And I forget the name of the author, but they basically boil it down to because the actual source material of the meme, a gorilla being shot, is so sad that it can't be commercialised. Yeah. So you can't have, like, say, the Wendy's Twitter account make using the meme because they don't want the bad publicity of using the death of a gorilla for commercial purposes. Exactly, yeah. So because it's never been touched by that, it means that it's, like, still pure. So like there are very bait. few memes you haven't seen made as basically essentially part of an advertising campaign, yeah, as like, you said. To try and speak to the kids, like, yeah. hello there, fellow kids. Like, which itself is now being used by companies to sell products to fellow kids. But Harambe, that's never happened. It's, it's too pure. Like Harambe. Anyway, as AJ Romano of Vox wrote, if you were a progressive, the Harambe meme gives you a chance to mock what you reviewed as the hypocritical haranguing of the mainstream while avoiding real issues of social justice. And if you were a conservative, the Harambe meme gives you a chance to mock liberal hysteria. Fair enough, that's their, that's their view. I just thought it's a cool looking gorilla. I just thought it was like, oh, it's sad that a gorilla got shot. Yeah, and also it's like, you know, it's just one thing that we can all agree on, that this was bullshit. <laughs> yeah, exactly, because there's not many things that like, can unify the internet in terms of opinion, but everyone just went, Yes, it is sad that a gorilla got shot. And it helps that the one picture of Harambe that got used like, is really photogenic. Yeah. One meme is a play on the conspiracy theories such as Bush did 9-11, a reference to the 9-11 conspiracy theories. In Australia, people joked about supporting Harambe's corpse as a writing candidate on the ballot of a federal election. Oh, God. Public policy polling included Harambe in their polling for the US presidential election, and Harambe had 5% support. <laughs> Ahead of Green Party nominee Jill Stein. And in August had two oh. percent, which tied with Stein. <laughs> How deflated would you feel if a like dead gorilla was a fake candidate that did death? Oh man! Cincinnati Zoo director Thane Maynard reacted negatively. We are not amused by the memes, petitions, and signs about Harambe. Our zoo family is still healing. Yeah, Joe's not healing though. Harambe, because he's dead. Oh man! <laughs> And the constant mention of Harambe makes moving forward more difficult. We are honouring Harambe by redoubling our gorilla conservation efforts. Do you know what we could have conserved a gorilla by doing? Not shooting one. Like, I love oh, how God. every, like, I'm doing like the jokey ass all yeah. way, but just the, um, like, you can respond to everything they say exactly. with that, and that's <laughs> yeah. why it's so funny. It's like the OK Boomer thing. And whenever you see a long winded, like, ranty article by an older person with, oh, it's like ageist, and it's like, you know, it's just another example of young people not showing respect, you can respond to it with, OK Boomer. And it makes them so mad. And that's the thing is, half of the time that is met with a response that is also just as wordy, and then you can again reply like, with, OK, okay boomer. boomer. And that's what Harambe is like. Every time they say it, go, well, Harambe wouldn't have wanted this. It's so good, right? So, oh, in late August, the zoo deleted its Twitter account. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> However, two months later, it resumed. Like I said, because every time they tweet something, someone just goes, Harambe would have loved this. <laughs> so, oh, come check out our new deer. Harambe loved deer. <laughs> So, Harambe in popular culture. A self-described underground culture collective known as Otaku Gang released a computer parody fighting game known as... <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get there in a minute. This better be good, Carl. I'll get there in a minute. Known as... Harambe versus Capcom. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh god. With the Rambo being able to fight characters from Street Fighter, the game itself is available on Nougat. It's a customized fighting game. Oh god. <laughs> Rambo versus Capcom. What would a Rambo special be? What would his level three be? Is it just like protecting children? I think it'd have to be a counter level three, wouldn't it? Yeah. Where he takes the hit, like Wesker's, where he like counters it with like the full palm strike. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just, just like Harambe, just doing those bush meat combos. So I will admit, like when I play like um, some Smash Bros and I'm playing some Donkey Kong, I'm doing it a little bit for Harambe. And every time I, when I fight Snake or Joker and I see that gun, <laughs> I go, it's time. Let's do some Harambe combos on this motherfucker. It's time the ooh, ooh. <laughs> you got to slap down fools for the man. Oh, God. <laughs> Captain America thinks he's all that until like, Harambe steps into just the ring. Harambe Revenger just comes in. Oh, my God. American rappers Young Thug and Dumbfounded each released songs entitled Harambe. The former did so on his album Jeffrey, each track of which is named after one of his idols. <laughs> Although the song does not mention the gorilla. Canadian dubstep producer Excision included a song titled Harambe on his 2016 album Virus. On March 30th, 2019, the CEO of Tesla Inc, Elon Musk, released a surprise two minute rap titled Rip Harambe onto his SoundCloud. <laughs> oh. The track was performed by Young Jake, written by Young Jake and Caroline Polchek and produced by Blood Pop. Rolling Stone magazine called the track a bouncy tribute to Harambe. <laughs> <laughs> On naming contests for newborn baby gorillas, you can see where this is going. Yep. A teenager made a petition to Dublin Zoo to name the newborn baby as Harambe Jr. <laughs> oh. Or Harambe, so if it was female. <laughs> After Dublin Zoo announced the newborn baby gorilla via tweet. <laughs> I love that. Like, just. Anywhere in the world, there's like, uh, name our gorilla for us, Harambe. Like, it's like when they said, oh, name our new research vessel. And it was just like a boat in a boat <laughs> yeah. face. And then like, like, no, please don't do it. Like this, this boat costs like hundreds of millions of pounds. Also, it's a really dangerous expedition. What are we going to do if the people, if the boat sinks and the people on it have to get a message? Like, yeah, your husband died like on HMS Boaty McBoat face. Valiantly serving the British Empire aboard Boaty McBoat face. Did you see that though? Like, um, there was like internally at like in the Air Force, there was like a new stealth bomber, mm. and they asked, "Oh, what should we call it?" And the top petition was like, "Stealthy make stealth face." Can you imagine like you're like in a village in the Middle East and you get bombed to the ground by a thing called Stealthy make stealth face? Yeah, you're so fucking mad. On June 16, 2017, satire news site The Onion featured an article of professional wrestler Big Show being killed by the WWE after a seven-year-old boy wandered into a steel cage match. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, in September 2017, the zoo added Machindi, a 29-year-old male Western lowland gorilla, transferred from the Louisville Zoo. He joined females Chewy and Mara, who were present on the day of the killing. At the same time, the zoo created a new indoor habitat where gorillas could safely view the public year-round from behind safety glass. Yeah, maybe that was a good idea. <laughs> maybe just don't let people fall into the gorilla cage. Especially, right. like, three-year-old boys. Oh, God. It's just... <laughs> like, again, it's very sad that the gorilla had to die. Yeah. But just, like, everything that emerged after it was just so fucking funny. Like, Harambe versus Capcom. It's just... <laughs> it's so dumb that you can only believe that it came out of the internet, and I fucking love it. And now I'm just like, what would Harambe's level three be? 